All right, guys, new intro here for the Bear Pack. We hit 10,000 subscribers again. We want to thank everybody again. Trey, if you want to pull that 10,000 subscribers up, if you guys comment Llama on any of our videos up until Super Bowl, you will be entered into winning $1,000 from us. The only catch is, come Super Bowl Sunday, you have to be in the chat to claim the prize. We're going to have a live at halftime. You have to be in the chat to claim the prize, and you have to comment Llama on any of the videos up until the Super Bowl. We also have 12,000 subs coming right around the bend. We're at 10,200. We're going to give away two tickets to anybody, to any game they want, NBA, NFL, college basketball. It doesn't matter. We can wait until the new season for NFL. Any game you want to go, whenever we get to 12K, we're going to have that uh, giveaway coming up as well. We also have a new game. It's going to be Trey and myself versus the Bear Pack. You can call it Pros versus Joes if you want. I don't really like the name because I don't consider us pros. I don't consider you guys Joes. But, Trey, if you want to go to the YouTube channel, this is how you guys play. You're going to go to our YouTube channel. You're going to hit the community tab. We've been in the community tab a lot this season. Uh, you're going to go to the community tab. We have our plays for the day. So, obviously, the intro is not going to have plays for today. But these are our plays for our next video. It's the Pelicans minus 2.5, the Heat minus 5, Quinnipiac minus 4.5, and Wisconsin minus 10.5. Those are Trey's and myself's plays. What you guys are going to do is pick which one you think will not hit, meaning you're going to fade us, which is pros versus Joes, which is the game called. But you guys are going to try to pick which one is not going to hit. If you guys win, you're going to get a point. If we win, we're going to get a point. We're going to run it Friday through Friday every single week. Whichever team has the most wins, so four to three, six to two, whatever it is, that person or group will win fifty dollars. If the community wins, we're going to do a wheel spin for the community. If we win, I don't know how we're going to get our. I don't know how we're going to get our cheddar, but uh, you guys are just going to have to subscribe, I guess, more. But that's the game. Hopefully, everybody understands it. Trey, let's get into the video. All right, guys, let's get some NCAA basketball picks and props for Monday, January twenty second slate of games. Trey, let's take a look at that leaderboard. Have you start us off? After everybody was doubting me, I'm back on my bullshit. Six and one over my last seven. Yesterday, I gave out Fairfield minus six and a half versus Manhattan. This game was a wild cover. Fairfield, they were up 11 points with about five minutes left in the first half. That got all the way trimmed down to three at halftime. Then they were up by 11 points again in the second half with about eight minutes left. Then they got trimmed all the way down to two-point lead with 17 seconds left. I gave up, and then I got back on the game, turned it on. There was some voodoo magic. There was a three-pointer. Then there was a couple of free throws. We were up by five points at that time. Then a Manhattan tried a Patch Mahomes, Josh Allen, full court pass, got intercepted, Ooh. immediate foul, banged both free throws, one by seven. That's a cover, baby. Yeah, great cover there by you. Uh, my Memphis Tigers did not do the same for me. It was looking really good in the second half. They had 63 of nine minutes left, just needed over 84 and a half. Uh, it was looking great. 79, 81, 13 seconds left. Penny Hardaway uh, said, you know what? Let's take the 34-foot three-point shot and brick it instead of going to the lane and forcing overtime. So we did not get the overtime. We did not get the cover of Memphis over 84.5 points. We're going to move on. Trey, let's look at those plays for tomorrow. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm going to take us over to Nickel State going up against Incarnate Ward here. And this is going to be a very fun game to watch. Both teams, they've kind of had below average seasons so far, though, because Nickel State, they come in this game with an 8-10 and record. They're also 7-8 and ATS this year. And the Cardinals, they are three and seven on the road as well. And Incarnate Ward, they come in this game with a five and 12 record. They're also six, seven, and two ATS this season. And the Cardinals, they are three and three at home this year. I will say I'm a little bit confused by this line, though, because in my opinion, Nickel State, I kind of expected them to be bigger favorites. Give me the road team here to get a convincing win in conference. I'm taking Nickel State minus three and a half against Incarnate Ward. They're simply just the better team in Nickel State. They're ranked 68 spots higher than Incarnate Ward is on the Ken Palm rankings. In fact, Incarnate Ward, they're ranked the 24th worst team in the country, according to Ken Palm. That is just no bueno. And whenever we look at this matchup historically, it is dominated by Nickel State. They're 8-2 and two straight up over their last 10 games versus Incarnate Ward. And I do expect that trend to continue here for one main reason. Nickel State, they are just not good. They foul a ton. In fact, they are in the top 20 in the country in free throws allowed per game. And that plays right into what Nickel State is great at. They're ranked in the top 100 in college basketball in free throws attempted and made per game. And that's going to be the driving force to our win and cover here. Especially whenever you're on the road, you can get easy buckets at the free throw line. It's just going to be a perfect combination for us. So give me Nickel State here. I'm going to take them at minus three and a half on the road versus Incarnate Ward. Yeah, Trey, I like that play there for me. For my play today. I'm going to go to the ACC. I'm going to be looking at Wake Forest going up against North Carolina. North Carolina, they've been rolling through teams over the last several games. They found themselves in the top five in the country. 
They are one of seven teams now in Ken Palm ratings with both a top 20 offensive efficiency and top 20 defensive efficiency. They're going to be back on their home court trying to protect it. And I'm not going to take a side. I'm going to take the over 154.5. North Carolina, they can put up a ton of points. They've been showing that all season long. 83.4 points per game. Last season defensively, they weren't nearly as good as this season, but they have a few players coming back from last year taking care of the scoring load with Davis and Baycott. I will say that the defense over the last couple of games, it hasn't been the best. They allowed 70 points to Louisville, 6-6 to Boston College. Both of those teams are subpar teams this year. And Wake Forest, they have a very dynamic offense. They're scoring 81.1 points per game, having four of their starters averaging 14 points or more. They have two of the best scoring guards of the nation. And I think eight points, if you did want to take a side, it's a little bit too much to be asking for North Carolina to cover. I'm going to stay away from the spread again. But North Carolina, they've been red hot. That's why I'm staying away. But I would not be surprised at all if Wake Forest covers the spread. And Wake Forest does need this game pretty badly because in that ACC conference, North Carolina has not lost. And Wake Forest, they're sitting in the two holes, sitting two games back out of North Carolina. I expect this to be a tightly contested game down to the wire, but this over is going to catch with both these offenses. Give me the over 154.5 as the play. Trey, let's go to the props. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I am 0-1-1 on the props. It was very brutal. I gave out Gabe Madsen to go over 13 and a half points going up against Oregon. And Madsen, he only finished with seven points in this game. He only got up six shots uh, throughout this game. And it was very surprising. He was the lowest point scorer out of all the Utah Ute starters. So I did not see that one coming. Yeah, and I had Selton Miguel of South Florida go over his total points against Wichita State. Healthy scratch this morning on Sunday. Did not play. So an 0-0 day for me. Trey, let's go to the props for tomorrow. Have you start us off. Yeah, guys, I'm going to take a player out of Bears game pick. Give me Kevin Miller to go over his points going up against North Carolina. I really love this over for Miller here in this game. He's just a pure scorer for the Demon Deacons so far since he transferred in from Central Michigan. And that's because Miller, he's coming to this game averaging 17.4 points per game. And his, at, and his average actually goes up whenever he plays on the road up to 20.3 points per game. So this being a road game is actually good for us with Miller. And look for North Carolina to focus on Hunter Silas throughout this game. And that's going to allow Miller to kind of fly underneath the radar in the early uh, aspects of this game and pour on the points. And whenever we factor in that Miller, he's coming into this game with some positive momentum as well. It makes me love this play even more because over his last five games, Miller, he's averaging 18.8 points per game. And he's averaging those numbers because he's getting to the free throw line a ton to an average of seven free throw attempts per game. And I expect him to push that average to 20 plus points here in this one with it being a huge game versus North Carolina. So give me Kevin Miller to go over his points versus the Tar Heels. Yeah, Trey, love it. Let's stay in the same game. For my problem, I'm going to take RJ Davis to go over his total points going up against Wake Forest. I do expect this to be a high scoring game, so I love both these player props. And RJ Davis, he is the best scorer on the floor for both sides. He's gone over 20 points per game on the season, and he's shooting 43.1% from the field, 41.2% from deep. And RJ, he loves to play at home. He's shooting over 40% from the three-point line at home and 46% from the field, boosting his average 7% from on the road. He's scoring 20.5 points per game at home, and he's just been much more effective on his home floor. Wake Forest defensively against teams not named Virginia and Louisville over the last five games have allowed 82, 82, and 76. That was Miami. Florida State and NC State, North Carolina, they have a much better offensive attack than any of those teams. The Tar Heels are going to put up a bunch of points in this game, and I expect R.J. Davis to once again have over his total average on the season. Give me R.J. Davis over his total points against Wake Forest as the play. Trey, let's go to the props. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm going to go with Nickel State here on the road, minus three and a half versus Incarnate Ward. Nickel State, I feel like they're just the better team, and I love that we're getting this number so low because I feel like they're just going to roll here in this one. Also going with Kevin Miller to go over his points versus North Carolina. He's a great one-two punch right next to right next to Hunter Salas. So I expect Miller to kind of dominate here in this game. Yeah, and I'm going with the points between Wake Forest and UNC. If you did want to take a line, I'd probably lean Wake Forest plus the eight and a half. But I'm going over. I don't see any way this one doesn't go over. And then I like RJ Davis. It's going to be probably set at 20.5 points. He's going to cast that over in a high-scoring game against Wake Forest. Guys. That's going to do it for the NCAA Plays and Props for Monday, January 22nd slate of games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to drop a like in this video and subscribe to the channel below. See you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Look at the leaderboard. We had multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to YouTube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of the subscribe. You're going to click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube. And it gives you a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. 
So if you get the bear pack gold, you save yourself two bucks a month, a little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 